Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video today, I'm going to tell you how to connect uh, the FMC of the Salty Simulations Boeing 747 uh, with your SimBrief account and plus how you can import the flight plan from SimBrief. It's going to be a short video uh, focused uh, for the beginners so uh, that um, I can enhance your experience of the flight simulation and plus Salty Simulations Boeing 747. It's a very nice plane. Uh, it's um, a simple, not a, a study level plane, but most of the features are working. Uh, and uh, if you do flights with this plane, you are really going to enjoy it. Uh, I'm also enjoying uh, flying this plane a lot. And I'm thinking of doing more videos for this plane. Um, some of the videos are there on my channel. I have actually done, um, 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 I think, five or six different tutorials for this plane. Uh, so if you want to even uh, go and watch them, uh, you can uh, find them in the description. Okay, uh, so if you go to the FMC, uh, you will see the screen menu. If you don't uh, see this uh, menu screen, you have to press this button menu and uh, you, this menu will appear. Over here, you have to select this option salty. Once you select it, you see this option SimBrief. And once you select it, you have to enter your SimBrief ID over here. You can find the SimBrief ID uh, in your SimBrief account settings. If you go there, you will see this uh, ID. Simply enter it over here. And that's it. Uh, your FMC will be connected to the SimBrief and then you can import the flight plan. Now I'm going to tell you how to import the flight plan. For this, you have to go to the FMC. And uh, over here, you will see all the options related to your air rack cycle and plus the model and plus the NAV data. Go to the index and first of all, go to this page position. Enter your departure airport, which is OPIs in my case. Uh, it's now international airport. Enter the GPS coordinates. Uh, I have actually done a video how to configure the FMC. So if you're not really familiar with it, you can also go and watch that video. Uh, but this video will also uh, cover, uh, I think, most of the parts. Okay, so once I'm done with it, and uh, I will go to this option uh, route and over here I will uh, send this request to import uh, the flight plan and load. That's it. You can see uh, the flight plan is now loaded. OPIS and OPKC is the destination and um, simply press execute, uh, clear this error. And uh, if you go to this option, uh, sorry, the next page, you will see the waypoints and uh, the airway has been updated. Uh, the first uh, waypoint is Belco, fly direct towards Belco and then Z301 to NH. As you can see, the set and star are not updated. So we are going to update it uh, over here. In the departure, I will be departing from uh, 28 right. And Belk 1K is my SID for the departure. I have actually covered um, all these points in the flight planning part. So um, there, there, there are, I think, four or five videos related to uh, flight planning on my channel. If you're not really familiar with the flight planning, you can just go and watch it. Uh, but in this video, I'm just trying to keep it really short and simple uh, so that you can easily import the flight plan. Uh, once you have uh, selected the departure, then it's the time to select the arrival. Arrival will be ILS 25 left. And uh, the star will be NH1C. Execute. And uh, that's it. Uh, go to this option legs. Uh, see for uh, if there is any discontinuity. Delete the discontinuity. Execute. Uh, let's see if there is any other discontinuity. Uh, it's coming after the runway, so we don't really care about it. But um, all the discontinuity in the flight plan has been deleted. Now one more thing, you can just cycle through your flight plan. Um, for this, you can see the navigation display is uh, blank because I haven't turned on the iris option to nav. Um, iris is your inertia reference system which actually gives uh, the GPS coordinates to the plane. So set all these three options to nav and then your iris alignment will start. You will see the time coming over here, uh, six minutes. But if you go over there in the menu and uh, you select uh, this option salty and iris and instant alignment of the iris, you can see now the navigation display is updated. Let's go here. If I zoom out, you can see the flight plan is now updated. And plus, if I move this option to plan, I can cycle through the plan. And here you go. It's actually Islamabad and uh, all the flight plan is now there. Sorry, this is Islamabad, yes. And, uh, and then Karachi. 
Actually, most of the time I'm doing flights from Karachi to Islamabad, so I got a bit confused. So it's this flight I'm trying to do it from Islamabad to Karachi. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I just wanted to keep it simple. Uh, but just remember one thing. Uh, if you go back to this uh, option, um, initial reference, uh, remember you have to enter this information. Uh, once you import the flight plan, only the waypoints and um, 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 the areas are updated. But you have to select the set and star and plus the takeoff performance. Let's say cruising altitude will be... Uh, 38,000 feet, FL380 for this flight. Uh, cost index is coming as 100. Um, I think you can change it. Yes, you can keep it at 20. Reserves, you can check it in the flight plan. Um, for me, it's one ton. And uh, the thrust limit is there. Takeoff, um, flaps will be 10. And V1, VR, and V2. And that's it. Uh, so you have all the information entered in the FMC. Now you can just fly this plane to the destination and you can enjoy this flight. With this, I would just like to end my video. Uh, if you've got any further questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Um, and um, that's it. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.